two. So here I am logged in the AWS console should automatically just log you in. First thing we're going to look is you can see the menu here and we're going to explore a lot of these tools this semester, but by no means all of them. There's so many of them. So uh, first thing we're going to do is create a v VPC and VPC is a virtual private cloud or basically a subnet or a, a network uh, construct um, here that we can play with. So I'm going to create a new VPC. So let's just say launch VPC wizard and you can read through that. Do we want a single or public? Um, so I said single public subnet on the lab. So we're going to select that. We give it our CIDR block 10.20.30.40/24. VPC name is simple VPC. Oops. Oh, I, I read this wrong. That's what it is. And we'll also 10.20.30.16. So this is a subset of the above network. I'm broken into a smaller subnet. No preference for the availability zone. Uh, this is, I'm just going to call it simple subnet and create VPC. So it does that. Now I'm going to create a new EC2 instance and EC2 is the main, one of the main components of AWS platform. It is a virtual machine essentially on the cloud. Okay, so here I am on the EC2 dashboard. Click launch instance here and it'll walk me through this little wizard. First, we will choose the AMI that we want to use. This is the machine image. Um, I'm going to look for Windows, maybe, Windows Server 2019 base select. And T2 Micro is good. We'll say next. Um, as you, and I'm skimming through a lot of this, but we'll choose the simple VPC that we just created. The subnet will be our simple subnet. That's the only one we've created inside of that network. We will enable um, auto assign IPv4 auto address. Let's see. Oh, actually, that's one of yeah. Um, storage. Anything else there? We'll ignore all those, I think. We'll go to the storage location. We'll just take 30 gig disk and we'll hit next. We can add different tags to manage. So maybe I'll say the name here is simple windows. And I'll say next, we'll learn about security groups, but we'll just say create a new security group. Um, the security group name, I'm just gonna say uh, simple SG and then you could give it some sort of description, security group for Windows. And then we want to allow RDP inbound, which is the protocol to access um, Windows machines. Now I'm going to lock it down so that my source has to be coming from my IP address. This is my current IP address that I'm logged into right now. And then I'll say review and launch and just check those settings. Then we'll hit launch. Now this is pretty critical and we're just going through this quickly to just see an example of how to create a virtual machine or EC2 instance on the cloud. Uh, we will use these, uh, this key pair in order to connect to our machine. So um, I think we all have this vo voke key that's created for us, but uh, we could create a new one if we want to. Let's, I'll just choose the existing one. I think that's fine. And then we'll say launch instances. So now it's launched. I'm gonna say view, in, well it's launching at least. View instances, take me back to the dashboard. We should see that now it's an instant state pending. It'll take just a moment for that to come up. Once it comes up, we'll just look at connecting to it. 
While that's coming up, I'm going to navigate back to my Vocarium screen. And we're going to grab that key. So it did create a key for us. We're going to click on Details, Show AWS. And that should load up some information about the lab for us. And we want to download the PEM key file. And uh, we'll save that. And we will use that for connecting. Let's go back and check. Looks like it's running now. We're ready to connect. OK, after we've downloaded that PEM file, we need to connect to the machine. So we're going to come back here and click Connect after we've selected the machine. And it says, well, hey, how are you going to connect here? Well, um, you could probably use this, this download remote desktop file. That would probably work. I don't use Windows very often, um, nor do I use RDP very often, but I'll show you how I do it. Um, so here's our public DNS we're going to connect to, or we can use the IP address back here on the um, details of our EC2 instance. Our username is administrator, and then we have to get our password. So we click on get password. You've got to browse to where you downloaded your PEM file. Click open, and then decrypt password. And you can see that I'll copy it to clipboard. So once we have that, I'm going to, let's see here. I'm going to use, I like to use uh, on Linux, uh, I've got a, a Remina, but you could use any RDP client. Um, anyway, I did something like this. I'm going to give it this name, AWS EC2. Uh, the server, well, I don't know, the password, is pasting the password there, and administrator. And the server is that. And paste that in. Now, um, on mine, I've tested it. I have to use true color when I'm using Remina, or else it'll have an issue. So I'm going to say save and connect. It says, hey, are you sure you want to accept this certificate? Yes. And then for some reason, it launches it in this full screen mode. And there's my EC2 instance. So I really just wanted to go over how to create a quick EC2 instance and connect to it. Now, you'll probably have to find, um, if you're not using Linux, uh, there's tons of RDP clients out there. Google around a little bit, but this process is going to be the same. And you probably could make use of this download remote desktop file. Just click on it, but you'll still have to know the, the username and password in order to connect. Once we're done playing around with it and taking our screenshots, prove that we've done it, um, to I, I would shut down, just get familiar with shutting down an EC2 instance. In our lab environment, really doesn't matter, but we're going to try it. So we're going to go to instance state terminate. And yep, and you'll learn the difference during this course about all those uh, different options, uh, terminate, stop, whatever. But I just wanted to give us a quick overview of creating that EC2 instance, uh, VPC, connecting to it, and I have done so.